Hi, this is Armando Cruz, creator and founder of Cruz Country Fitness and Physical Therapy. And today I'm going to be answering a question. And this is coming to us um, from Facebook. And this person says, she goes, you know, one of my obstacles is laziness. I'm a very active person, but there are some goals that I have that require an extra effort. Whether it be talking to a stranger or offer a helping hand, it requires effort and selflessness that sometimes I don't want to extend because it means I have to give more of myself that I don't feel I have. But we all know that giving is receiving, right? So this is how it was phrased. And I'm reading this word for word. Some of these questions, I, I take the general concept and I just put it in here. Some of them, I think it's very important for me to read it straight as the way the person's saying it. And the reason is because it says a lot about the beliefs that they have about this particular story in their life. And so, you know, the first thing I notice is confront laziness. Now, laziness, I don't think is the best word to do this because she's obviously an active person and there's areas in her life that she's really, uh, well, I know this person, so I know there's areas in her life that she is phenomenal and there she is not lazy. And again, I don't really think it's laziness, the, this issue here. But there are some goals that she mentioned here that require extra effort. And I think that's that's operative in all of this. It's why does it create that extra effort? Part of it is, um, in this particular case, talking to a stranger or offering a helping hand. That is giving of yourself. And depending on where you're at, I know that this person is a mother, Depending on how filled up your emotional basket is, you may or may not be ready to give off some more. See, if you're in, if you're sleep deprived, if you're juggling a million things, um, emotionally, socially, there all these things start building up to a point where if you can imagine a cup overflowing. And you really just can't go on anymore. And sometimes you just feel like you've had too much. You're just overwhelmed and you can't extend yourself. And so your body at this point is going into that survival state. People talk about it feeling stressed. When you're feeling stressed or you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling frustrated for whatever the reason, oftentimes these are words that we use when we your body's shifting into that survival state where your body can't really process new information and you almost have to get that cup and pour it out before you can really serve others and there's nothing wrong with working on yourself before you help others and she mentioned that she mentioned here as a question she goes but we all know that giving is receiving right i could i can just picture her saying right i mean isn't that what everybody tells us and yes i truly believe that service and that heart of a servant and giving to others is super important. But when we are ready, if our emotional, hormonal, and physical body is not ready, it would actually cause more stress and add more to that cup instead of take away. And so you need to see and evaluate where you're at so that you can give the best of yourself. Because the truth is, if you're going to go and approach somebody, but you're not coming right, or if you're not coming uh, with love, because you can't at that point survive when you're shifting to that survival state, you can't be at your best at that point. Then it may not be the right time. You know, I, I hope this this is not an excuse for not helping. This is hopefully to gain clarity as to why you may be feeling this way. The other thing is, what are the benefits of it? You know, sometimes we think that helping as a Christian, helping as a nice person, helping as whatever you want to think needs to come easy. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with you. And again, go back to where are you in your life emotionally, physically? And if you are in that survival state, it may not be the right time. Taking time to meditate, to pray, to, to just unwind, knowing what kind of a person you are. I know that I am a, an introvert. In order for me to recharge, I need to get away. I need to actually move away, whether it's from my family, from everybody, a lot of times. And I need that time to just hit that reset button. 
So you need to know what does that for you. Once you can know that, you can use that as a, as a tool to put yourself in a better state and constantly be emptying out that cup so when the time arises to help others and serve others, you have enough space in your cup to be able to share with others. I hope that's been helpful. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight as to, you know, really defining and understanding more of this process of serving others and serving yourself at the same time in a very productive and helpful way. This has been Armando Cruz. I'll see you in the next video.